Hello Vac fans, and today we're going to test three different Electrolux canister type C bags for particulate emissions with my incredible Kirby G5 exhaust setup. And you'll see how this works in a minute. So the first one on the chopping block is this very typical four ply says uh, three inner layers, one outer layer. And I'm going to uh, cut the little tabs off of everything. These are all um, some kind of nice little rubber uh, seal right there on, on all these bags. And I've cut the tabs off. And we're going to go ahead and test these things to see how dirty they are. So I'm sure there's other brand names other than DVC that made this kind of uh, made this kind of bag, but this is what's typical to find um, at least around in Ohio. So these are all brand new bags. They haven't been um, you know used for anything. Certainly no dirt. And I love. Let's see where does it say? Yeah, <laughs> I love how it says this. Replace bags when full. Do not reuse. How are you going to reuse? a paper bag. You can't turn it inside out and blow the stuff out. I mean, it'll tear. It's just hilarious. So anyway, this isn't some kind of cheap um, single layer. This is a full four layer bag. So what we do, we come up here, lay this right in there. I love it. To test an Electrolux, use a Kirby. And I got this hose here. And put that in. Hope that doesn't fall down. I might have to put the camera down. Oh, good. All right. So I managed to get that in there without looking like a complete idiot. And what we do is we take the exhaust air, and right here, the exhaust air going in there, guess what? Just about matches the intake airflow of my Electrolux Olympia 1. In other words, it's a little over 100 CFM coming out of this. And I'm sucking up fairly clean air right from here. So it would be the same thing as using an Olympia 1 and just using the canister and just turning it on in free air like I've done before. But this time, we're just going to put uh, some airflow through this bag. It's going to puff up, and we'll measure it with our meter. So before we do that, let's go ahead and get a baseline particle count and let's see how clean my basement air is. Should be pretty good. Let's see, I don't want to get too close. I'll wash the picture out. Okay, here we go with the baseline measurement. And since I'm moving around so lot, I may have to um, actually put the camera down periodically and stop the footage. Okay, 6,500. We're certainly under 7,000. That's very, very clean. If you clean freaks out there, for base, baseline air in a home, that's clean. All right, looks like we're going under 6,000 a little bit. Last reading... All right, so I'd probably say an average of a little under 6,000, maybe 56, 5,700. Uh, you see the idea. All right, so now let's turn this on, and we're going to rerun it and see what happens. Now, if we see readings that's less than, like, say, oh, you know, 5,800 or 6,000, this bag is actually filtering fine air particles, which I don't think it was designed to, f to filter particles that small. <laughs>
so we we saw it start like around 10,000 and then go down to like say well you can see at the bottom here the uh, final fourth count uh, 7200 I'll post the averages obviously in the description so this might be something like in the 8,000 range or so so this isn't really filtering um, fine 0 0.3 micron particles and I don't think I would expect this bag to do that um, there's other there's two other sizes of particles there's a 2.5 micrometer and a 10 micrometer and it seemed to do a pretty good job with that um, but uh, I wasn't really watching those uh, counts very closely so let's move on to this bag right here and I think I'm going to have to stop the camera now what's so interesting about these vac bags vacuum america clean it claims h10 material five layer filtration 99 percent blah 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 nine bags i think this is currently the only type you can really get anymore um, unless the perfect ones have somehow come back with an overstock somewhere um, i've always wondered what these little dots are right here they're just kind of all over the place and it, it's on all the bags it's not just this one so I think I may stop the camera because doing this with one hand is a little bit awkward and I'll be right back. I've got the middle Vacuum America Clean HEPA bags in. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Obviously, what a huge difference. So, if you saw, the 0 0.3 microns obviously was well under 2,000. Huge improvement. Did you notice the 2.5 was 0? And of course the 10, that's large particles, that's also a 0. So this bag is great. I mean, compared to the paper bag, even a 4-ply, yeah, big difference. Alright, so... I'm going to go ahead and tear down and set back up again for the perfect bags. And these are the bags that I got um, at the very beginning when I said, you know what, Do they make something better than paper. Let me go ahead and see if I can find something HEPA. And I found these a few years ago. Okay, we got the perfect HEPA bags in. Let's see what happens. <laughs> What a difference. So if you were maybe around, oh, say 8,000 or so average, I'm, I'm just guessing here. I'll put it in the description what the average is for this. Then this comes down to maybe 1,800, you know, for the uh, supposed H10. Well, I'm pretty sure that these perfect bags are not H11 
but you know what they're pretty close so yeah these perfect bags if you're looking for the best that at least I can find if you guys find anything better let me know so this is number one really fantastic uh, average well under I think 400 uh, this one was average probably around 1800 and this one average is probably around 8000 so if you're still using your Electrolux and you want better filtration uh, now you know uh, what to choose if your choice is one of these three bags any case thanks for watching until next time bye bye